everyone. It's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. And the temperature here today, I don't know what it is, but I'm cold. So I left my jacket on. Jim's going to look, see what the temperature is. But I have long sleeves on. Normally when I have this jacket on, it's because I've got 72. little spaghetti. 72. Oh, it's freezing for me. The humidity has gone down, and it's cold. I actually got my coffee so I could have something warm to, to hang on to. Well, first of all, I want to start with, I want to thank all of you for um, checking out Rusty's channel, The Ozark Duke. <laughs> I couldn't think for a minute. I had the Ozark part right, and then I was thinking, I know what it is, but I have to look always to make sure I get it right. The Ozark Ark Duke. Thank you for checking his channel out. I'm sure he appreciates it, and I appreciate it, and I hope you're enjoying it if, you, if you've watched a few of his videos, which I'm sure you have if you've checked them out. Okay, another thing I wanted to, to tell you before I go on to my subject, which is going to be about clothes, um, I want to thank, I want to ask you to please, if you feel like it and would like to, I would appreciate it if you, if you watched Bob's live stream. He's going to go live. He's, he did one little test live um, a few days ago, but he's going to do a live stream and it's Mountain Crest Farms is what his channel is. He's going to do a live stream on Sunday and he's scheduled it to, to happen at six o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So on the 20, 25th of this month Bob is going to go live and it would be nice to have a bunch of us there. He's going to have a topic. It's not going to be just a hello, how are you, glad you came kind of deal. No. It's going to have a topic. I don't know what his topic is, but it, he does um, talk about farming, and he, he raises pigs, and he does a lot of um, repairs on equipment. He, it's, it's going to be interesting, I'm sure, because he always has a topic that's pretty interesting. At least I find him interesting. So if you feel like watching somebody on Sunday, the 25th at 6 o'clock, Bob's going to be on live, the Mountain Crest Farms. Okay, now what I wanted to talk about was I was watching a live today and they were talking about school and then it went over into, over into um, clothing. And um, I, had, I had my comment was, um, do you go to school and then come home and change into your play clothes? Because when I went to school, you came home, you changed in your play clothes because you wanted to go outside and play. And with living on a farm, you didn't want to wear your school clothes out on into, into the barn or to play with the cats or the dogs or whatever you were going to do or play in the tr climb a tree or swing on a swing or walk on a barrel or whatever you were doing or stilts because we used to or go down the creek. So we used to change our clothes. And... Um, on the thing the little one does not change her clothes because her school clothes are her play clothes but after a while I think those play clothes or those school clothes would become just basically play clothes because they would get stained I'm sure where you couldn't wear them to school anymore because they're gonna look funny then I mentioned then they were talking about uniforms and my we didn't have to wear uniforms at our school but my two younger daughters decided one year that they were going to choose three colors that they liked and we would buy clothes in those three colors and those three colors could be interchangeable because they matched and this way no matter what they wanted to wear they would be wearing these three colors and they never had to think really what they were going to wear to school and their grades went up a lot because they didn't have to focus on their dress at first um, some of the other kids found it, um, I think, curious as to why they were wearing just certain colors. Well, they were, they were trying to do their own little uniform, and it was clothes that they liked to wear, and, but it was in the colors that they liked, and so they just kind of did that, and it really was a blessing in disguise because they always had something to wear to school, and there was always something that matched, so they never had to worry about that. And then it was mentioned also 
how the, the some of the little girls like to wear dresses to school and they couldn't understand how they could play in dresses well when I went to school you were not allowed to wear shorts slacks you had to wear dresses or a skirt and we played just like the rest of the kids we teeter-tottered we swung we climbed the we had slides that were really high so we climbed the ladders to the slide and came down and we ran and we we were having a good time we did somersaults in dresses it didn't matter we were just little kids i guess and when we got to the older age when um you had formal gym this is the formal formalized gym classes they had actual gym suits that we our parents had to buy because they dressed they wanted us dressed all the same when we were in the younger grades and we had gym we used to wear shorts underneath our dresses and then or wear a skirt that day and this way you could remove the skirt and you had your shorts on for the gym class and you would bring your gym shoes you couldn't wear gym shoes in school either you had to bring your gym shoes you had to carry them so the dress codes were a lot stricter when I was in school even though we weren't wearing uniforms and I remember when maxi dresses came out and mini skirts were around. Girls could wear mini skirts, it seemed like, but there was one girl that wanted to wear a maxi dress and she was actually sent home. Can you imagine? Here she was covered up far more than the mini skirt girls and she was sent home because she had on a maxi skirt. So um, that was at the beginning of the maxi skirt times and then later on I actually wore a um, maxi skirt my mother loved it because she liked us to wear longer clothes anyways my dresses always came to my knees and all the girls in my class their dress was just above their knees and I always felt like I had a granny dress on because my dress I almost felt was too long I didn't like it and we and as far as stock they also mentioned leggings that um, sometimes the girls would rip their leggings and then the parents would have to come and bring them new leggings or something. Well, my daughter, she wanted to wear dresses, my oldest one. She loved dresses. That's all she wanted to wear. And she wanted to wear stockings, the leotard type stockings. So every day she wore tights and a dress to school. And yeah, she did. She could um, runs in them now and then. And I remember many a day I'd have her put her foot up on the chair, hold real still. I had my needle and thread and I'd stitch up that, that um, run. run in her stocking and her tights. And it really looked nice. I really could do a really neat job and she was very good at standing still. Uh, many a time we did that. And this way she could wear this, the tights for another time without... Um, there would never be a hole but if she made a hole then it was kind of ruined we had to just throw it away but if it was just a run we used to fix it so that it didn't make a hole and she wore dresses all the time and she still played just like the rest of the kids now my second daughter she didn't like dresses so she wore slacks uh, but by then she they were allowed to wear um slacks to school so she used to wear slacks and she didn't like tight slacks she wanted the, the looser she was more like a bell-bottom girl. And then my third daughter, she wanted dresses, but they had to spin out, not like a tulip. They had to be like a daisy where they went flat. So when you, so in the store, I used to take the dress on the hanger and just kind of drop it so that the wind could poof it. If it didn't poof out far enough, I knew she wouldn't wear it, so I wouldn't even buy it. So that's what the difference is in the girls, that I, my girls. But And, oh, I wanted to tell you, too. Oh, my nose itches now. And, and I'm not lying. Because <laughs> every time your nose itches, somebody says you're telling a lie. No, I'm not telling a lie. Um, when we would go shopping when I was growing up, if you had, you know, like when we had our play clothes on, my play clothes were actually, I wore my brother's hand-me-downs believe it or not. I did have my own girl stuff, but I used to wear a lot of the boys' clothes because they fit better. Than, I was a very skinny little girl, and the boys' clothes seemed to fit better than girls' clothes because girls, they made them with the waists too big, and the boys' clothes, the waists were a lot smaller, and I could get them by the length. And so, um, But if we were going to go shopping, you had to go downtown, which we called it downtown, 
I don't know, some people call it uptown, but we called it downtown. I had to put on a skirt or a dress. I had to dress like you were going to go to church to go shopping, just to go shopping. And I remember one time we wanted to go to confession. On Saturdays, we used to go to confession. My brother used to drive, and we, they all wanted to go. And I was with them, and the boys were fine, but I needed something to cover my head because when I grew up, you had to go in, you couldn't go in a church unless your head was covered. And I used to wear a little... Catholic church. A Catholic church, yeah. Yeah. I, I don't there's know. a difference. Yeah, there is. I don't know what the other churches regulations were but in the Catholic Church when I was growing up you had to wear, have your head covered and I used to have a chapel cap which was like a little doily that you'd put on your head well I didn't know we were going to go to confession so I didn't have anything for my head so my brother had a clean handkerchief I remember him taking out the handkerchief and I put that on my head and went into the church my sister-in-law said that when she was in Spain now she's Spaniard and she was, when they would go into a church, you were not allowed to wear a sleeveless shirt, sleeveless tops into a church. And they used to carry sleeves with them that they would just put them on. It was like an, um, just a sleeve. You used to slide the sleeve on, like if, as if you were putting on gloves. Well, there was, they weren't gloves, they were sleeves, and you would put them on, and this way their shoulders and their arms were covered. Today, people go in with shorts, People going with tank flip tops, flops. flip flops. We weren't allowed to do any of that either. But it's amazing what the the dress, how people have changed in their dress. Well, that was my talk for today. Just reminiscing about clothes and and the topic of how kids dress today versus the, how kids were allowed to dress when I was growing up is so different. And we all still played. We all still had fun. Well. I hope you have a great evening, great day, great morning, whenever you see this. Have a great one, and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.